Hey folks, me again, Rico Rockstar one here making another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at an accessory for the Game Boy Advance. Um, and, uh, yeah, I have my uh, Pokemon Center New York Edition Game Boy Advance because that's the only original Game Boy Advance I have. The others I had were um, Platinum and uh, the Fuchsia Colors, which I sold to make money. Um, they... One person gave me an offer on the uh, platinum one, and I couldn't say no to that. And another said uh, something about my uh, fuchsia one. Plus, the fuchsia color looks a lot like uh, clear pink, if you think about it. So, other than that, uh, that's why I'm going to be demonstrating with my Pokemon Center New York Edition Game Boy Advance the accessory. Whatnot. Now you may be asking me, what is this Game Boy accessory, or Game Boy Advance accessory, I should say? Well, let me tell you. Okay. I'll go ahead and grab it right now. It is the not, the Intec Wing Grip Game Boy Advance. It's an accessory that you stick your Game Boy Advance on. I'm not actually the owner of this. This actually belongs to a friend of mine that I don't think wants to be mentioned in this video, so I'm just going to say a friend of mine. He lent this to me for me to repair one of the wires that goes to the connector was detached. So I took my soldering guns and flux and I stripped the wire and I fixed it. In fact, it actually works better than ever since I did that mod. Now here's how this works. Um, you got this here, which is the base that your Game Boy Advance sits in, this is the back that you stick on the back of your Game Boy Advance, and this is the AC adapter that you charge it with. Now what you do is you take your existing Game Boy Advance back, take this off and set to the side. You may need it later if you choose to go back to double A's or something else. You stick your rechargeable battery here. Now this was meant for the clear purple Game Boy Advance, which I don't have, but my friend does. I would have demonstrated with that one, but he didn't want uh, me to demonstrate it in the video. Plus, he was in the middle of a Pokemon game, so that's why I'm going to be demonstrating with this uh, Game Boy Advance uh, accessory, the uh, Pokemon Center New York Edition. In fact, this is actually a rechargeable battery. You got two batteries right there that are rechargeable. And uh, there is some juice in here. I left it charging for a few hours. Although this says this can play up to 30 minutes uh, gameplay. I haven't tested it yet because I haven't run the batteries now. So it's got several hours, which is very nice. And charging, I don't think, takes too long. It says up to 30 hours of gameplay when you use this thing, but there's no indication that tells you when it's charging and when it's finished. So I'll probably uh, edit the video and... Uh, or write down below on how long this should be charged and uh, how I would recommend it. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate with the uh, game. Although I gotta warn you, the original Game Boy Advance is not backlit, so I might as well test it with a game that uh, I feel comfortable using uh, just to show that the battery power um, is good. Um, Eh, I'll pop in my uh, copy of Pokemon. No, oops, wrong game. Oh yeah, I'll I'll use Fire. You know, yeah, I'll use Fire Red. I showed off in the video. I might as well test it. So, if you don't see good screenshot, remember this is not a backlit system. So here I go. There you have it. I. I'm going to angle this as best as I can. I don't know if you can see this, but I'll bring it in closer so you can get a better idea. I don't know if you can see this, but I'll demonstrate it. Yeah, I lost. No. 
Look at that, I won. <laughs> I actually gotten three jackpots before. Let's uh, try them in the camera and just so you can get a better view. And I won two tokens there. This would really help if you have a backlit system. But other than that, yeah, it runs off of the grips. It's really recommended for games that you prefer having your hands right here. I'll go ahead and shut off this unit. This wasn't the best game to demonstrate with, but it goes to show that I got it working. And you can also uh, play while charging. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my power strip and uh, untangle the wire. This end right here goes into the bottom portion of your grip wing thing and this part goes into your wall. It uh, It's a NTSC plug. It says class 2 power supply output of 3 volts DC 300 milliamps and input of 120 volts. So let's go ahead and plug this in and this goes into here. I also super glued the connector because it kept wiggling around. So my advice is to plug it into a while uh, having it tight where it doesn't uh, slide around or move around. Because trust me, when you're playing a game or having it charged, you want it to wiggle and become loose and have this detach again. Let's try it with, uh, uh, let's do Frogger Adventure. So, I'll go ahead and demonstrate this with a much better game. A game that was designed to use the shoulder buttons. So, English. And we'll do Max File. I'll skip the, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but <laughs> don't touch the enemies or you will get her. There you have it, I just, uh, <laughs> the more tokens you get, the more, uh-oh, never mind, go fire. That's where the A button comes in so you can hop over. Alright, we can see this. Oh no, I touched an enemy. Wasn't paying attention. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, but you get the idea. This isn't the best review for this accessory, but it goes to show that it does, in fact, work. I probably should have done a before and after video on me fixing it, but that's okay. The hard part was getting that one wire to reconnect to the point it was supposed to go. So. My friend's going to be very happy once I return this to him. So thanks for watching. This is Rika Rocks 1001 saying um, this is a good way to have rechargeable. 
30 hours of playtime. And if you want your controller to feel like a GameCube controller, let's say... Which is funny, this is actually bigger than a GameCube controller. That's, I gotta say, that's impressive. So other than that, uh, yeah. It's got a nice grip uh, here. It feels very comfortable in the hands. It actually makes uh, games using the shoulder buttons and uh, controls actually very nice. Plus, the rechargeable portion is also very nice. I recommend picking it up if you're interested in recharging or preferring to charge your uh, unit instead of using uh, the standard AA batteries. So that concludes this video. So thanks for watching. I'm going to let this finish charging. So see you then. Oh, and by the time I uh, end this video, this uh, will be back to the original owner. So you won't be seeing this in any of the future videos. Unless I buy one of my own, which I doubt. I've, well, I might do if I find one for a good deal. For another Game Boy Advance, um, I'll probably pick up a second-hand uh, one at like a thrift shop or on eBay or Amazon, and uh, I will probably modify it, put a backlight or front light in that one, and get this so I can have my rechargeable Game Boy Advance. So that concludes this video.